Dustin, best password manager. Let's go. And and if you're listening right now, leave your favorite password manager in the comments as well. I want to see what everyone says. What's yours? Well, because I need that SSH key support, I'm still using one password. <laughs> but okay. what I would recommend to most people these days is Proton Pass because as I've used it and as I've heard other people like I've gotten reviews of other people who use it more actively than I do, but I've tested it out myself and I like it a lot. And I think that it's come a long way and it makes a ton of sense. And I mean, you have to be in the Proton ecosystem kind of, but I also think that the Proton ecosystem as a whole is a pretty solid recommendation for most people. So I don't have an issue with that personally. You also can just not use the rest of the Proton ecosystem and just use Yeah, the that's always an option. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, pers personally, I, I got to say, I've been on KeePass since like 2017. So I used KeePass for six and a half years. And I, every time I tried another password manager, including 1Password, it just wasn't for me. I get why you like it. I, I totally get it. And we recommend 1Password on our site. Even though they're not open source, they, they have a really good team that knows what they're doing. But I moved to Proton Pass. I'm all in on Proton Pass, and I love Proton Pass. Like, it's good. It wasn't great when it came out, and I was a little bit eh about it when it came out. But they've made it so good. Um, it's just super smooth, really good experience, and it just keeps getting better. Like the rate at which Proton's never released things as quickly before. When they release something, it's normally like kind of half baked, and it takes them two, three years to get it to just a state that's probably what should have been their public release, <laughs> you know, like it probably should have been released as a beta and normally they do, but their beta periods are very short, but proton pass. Awesome. That's my favorite. I don't know if anyone else has a favorite. Someone else here at uh, Fox said proton pass is the most beautiful design, but both proton and Bitwarden have issues with not filling in fields automatically. I, I definitely have those issues as well, especially on Android. It's an Android issue more than anything. Oh, on Android, yeah, that's a whole different story than yeah, that's... in the browser. Android is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's just bad. I, I I don't know how they did that so poorly. But I will say the big issue I've had with Proton Pass, this is a very small nitpick. When I create a new account with Proton Pass, it like, oh, fill in password for me. And then I click sign up. I'd say 80% of the time after I click sign up, it says, Would you like to add these credentials to your Proton Pass? And I click yes, and then it adds it to my Proton Pass account. 20% of the times it just doesn't. And it doesn't copy the password to your clipboard. Mm. So once you register, you lose the password it generated, as far as I know, unless it shows historical data somewhere I haven't found. So that's a yeah. serious issue that really bugs the hell out of me because then I, the first thing I do after I create the account, if the pop-up doesn't happen, is I have, to, uh, I have to go in and change my password again right away, which is just annoying. That is that is a huge that used to be a huge problem with one password. It might still be. Um, I don't pay attention to it as much because I ran into that issue so much that I now just always copy my password to the clipboard anytime I autofill for a new account. And then I manually check as soon as I register, even if it doesn't prompt, because I don't know why password managers can't just save whatever you autofill, but whatever. Yeah. And I, I guess I try to do that too. And sometimes I can do it. So I've gotten in the habit of when it generates a password, I try to copy it before I click register for an account. But some accounts, some web pages don't let you do that. Some web pages don't give you the visibility icon to view your password. Oh, yeah. And on no, those, it's... you can't copy it because Proton Pass doesn't give the option to copy it. There is no copy, like fill and copy option. Yeah. And the service doesn't let you do it. But did you, okay, okay. I don't know if this is built into Chromium now or if it's a Brave specific thing, but I was on a website recently and I was trying to autofill and it wouldn't let me autofill. It wouldn't let me paste. It was one of those annoying sites that don't let you copy paste the password yeah. field, which is ri ridiculous and it's just awful for so many reasons. But I saw, a, a, I right clicked for whatever reason and I saw a force paste option in Brave. Oh. And I, sure enough, I clicked force paste and it forced a paste into an entry that didn't allow me to paste. That's, that's great. I've never seen that before. Wait, that's awesome. Though. Yeah, let me, let me, I, I'm going to check right now if that's like a Brave browser thing or a Chromium thing. I'm going to have to look into that. No, it was yeah, awesome. For, for, for websites that don't give that, what I've done is, it, I mean, it's really annoying having to sign up for those sites, but I'll have to open my password manager. I'll generate a password in the password manager and then copy and paste it instead of doing the autofill a new password thing. 
just to avoid potentially this issue. <laughs> no, this is a brave specific thing. Brave does a lot of cool things. Yeah. So here's what it looks like for those watching. It's so you see paste here. Let me. So yeah, uh, what it looks like is you right click on the field. Uh, I know Jonah, you can't see it, but it, there's paste and then there's paste and match style and then there's force paste. So if you're using the Brave browser, if you stumble on this issue, you should be able to force paste your passwords into websites that don't let you do it. So that is awesome. Yeah, super cool feature. And I think it was merged, I guess, in 2022. I just never knew about it. I find it hard to believe I just never noticed it, though. I really wish, I mean, that should just be an option in every browser to like disable. I don't understand a single legitimate reason to disable paste. There's like I, no I have no, I have no idea why a website would want to do that. I think it's one of those like BS cybersecurity things like force changing passwords, like things that are just mm -hmm. normal in the industry that maybe like someone who's like still running on very traditional information that's not really accurate anymore. Like before password managers were a thing. Um, but yeah, there is no good reason I can think of either. Thanks for watching this TechLore clip. This actually comes from the main TechLore channel where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and how to keep yourself safe and sane online. We'll see you over on the main channel or feel free to check out some more clips.